How's it going, everyone? It's Rick from Southside Gaming, and we're back to our video. Uh, if you watched the last video, I showed you how to make your outro screen on your YouTube video. Um, now I'm going to show you how to apply that outro screen to uh, your YouTube video. So what we're going to have right here, this is our movie. You just made this YouTube video, and you want to add your outro screen to the end. So I have mine right here, as you can see. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this in to the end of my movie. So uh, you're going to see right here as I play this, it's going to zoom in. You don't want that. We don't want it to be zooming in. We want it to be steady, not moving at all. So you're going to click on this on your outro. And you're going to see this little cropping tool right here, cropping bar. You're going to go on that. And you're going to see two rectangles. One is dotted, one's uh, flat line. You're going to click on the dotted one, as you can see, yeah, right there. So the inside one is labeled as end, and you're going to want to drag that to the outside rectangle so that they fit perfectly. Uh, now when I play this, you're going to see it doesn't move at all because we didn't want any movement on that. So that's done. I'm going to make this a little bit longer, maybe nine seconds. That seems fine. So now you are playing your video. You're going to want this a little bit bigger, but you also want it, you're going to want it in one line. You end that and it goes to your outro. So your outro is playing. Your outro is playing right now. But what you want is you want to use all the features of it. Right here, we have watch our last video here. So you're going to want to see your last video or one of your videos in this little box right here because otherwise it's useless. Um, I'm going to show you how to do that. So just for example, I'm going to take short part of one of our last videos. We'll go nine seconds to match the outro screen. And I'm going to take that. And you're going to want to drag it right above the outro screen, not next to it, right above. So if I were to play this now from this point, it would play just this video. So we don't want that, obviously. So what you're going to do is you're going to highlight this. You're going to highlight both of them, the outro screen as well as that video. And then a new bar is going to come up right here, video overlay settings. And you're going to want to click on that. And you don't want cutaway. What you want, you want to go to this bar, and you're going to do picture in picture. So now you're going to move this. This is this is the uh, new video that you've just added, and you're going to take it here to your box, and you're going to want to crop that in right. So now when we go back into the video, and video finishes, and now you're going to have your last video playing in that box. So that looks good. Uh, your video looks more professional now, and that's how you finish putting your outro screen on the end of your YouTube video. Mm -hmm.